Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and I believe in to be or not to be. Uh, yes, we covered from King's Day, making a cool Friday morning video, uh, Bitcoin TA update. I have two amazing charts that really show you what is happening, and it is really cool to see. So quickly jump into these charts, guys. Let's see. Uh, This is the first one. This is, of course, the four hour. I always start, start with the four hour. You can see uh, we are moving in between the two green lines. Beautiful. Um, we can see the Bitcoin BAM indicator um, indicated a long flag over there. You can also see the long in this new part of the BAM indicator in the bottom. We can see green starting, but still some blue, which is not positive. Um, and the white line was crossed over there and the white line is pointing up. So you could have taken it, but it was a little bit of a risky trade, but still you would have had a nice profit now the four hour is beautiful but the day channel uh, allows us to zoom out a little bit and um, we can see that we broke that line and um, that is not terribly drawn but like something like this and we are coming back up to retest it and you know what happens often when we go to the bottom of that support box and we come up to try and break that orange line we could fall down again so at the moment bitcoin on the short term could make a move like this you know and then bounce down um i don't want to see that we can also like we see uh, seen many times before um just come back bounce in and then bounce to the line and try to break up again you know something like that two scenarios in the short term in my pos uh, in my opinion but uh, for me i always zoom out and this short term is uh, up to my bots of which i will tell you more later the gaussian channel shows us yes we found support on the bottom of that gaussian channel again that bottom was a 39 uh, no i seem 38 500 we are now at 39 500 so we found support we must not break it and i want to see us going back above that midline because the longer this gaussian channel is red like we look to the previous two times now and um, the longer we can go a little bit bearish this one is the obvious one of course you see we went up we came down we tried to go up and then we broke even the bottom and then we came down below it and then it took a very long time before we broke out of it but the moment you break out of that red one again that is again the start of the bull cycle and that is what you see every time and um, with the gaussian channel we come down we, yep we try to go up and then we come down below it and then when we break and go into it that's the start of the bull cycle so yes the start of this red area is bearish in my opinion you can also <coughs> see here that there was one time that it wasn't that bearish you know we, we were already below it but that was at the dump of COVID, i think so it is bearish but the longer it is red then we can also start to become again bullish <laughs> because we start we need to turn green somewhere and when we turn green it is off to the races and that is what you see on the weekly now of course as well look we had this beautiful combination here of the long short long short again a beautiful long but this short is in my opinion a little bit too early and too early means that uh, there is not a lot of profit in between if this is long and the short and we are now down below the yellow stepping line uh, you can also see that in the bottom in the rsi sorry over there uh, you can see that we were again resisted by that line and we need to break that line to have a more upward movement now what can happen with that short now we can fall down below to that blue line that's 34,700 or something so if we would do that that would be if we would close a body there a lower low instead of a higher low um exciting times if we look a little bit back in that weekly time frame um then we see that this is lining up the same over here we had a long flag we came we need to draw we had that long flag we came above it we got a short call but we went sideways again a long a short call but we went sideways and then bam so are we doing the same like that everything is possible we had a long flag we end up we have a short call can we go sideways with a long and a short call and maybe then explode um 
all of these scenarios are possible and we all don't have a glass ball and we can't predict the future uh, but we can at least analyze the past and then uh, you know we can uh, become happy or sad of the results that we see what happened in the past but for me all options are open yes uh, a lot of people ask me did you where can i get the bitcoin is the real king t-shirt yes you can find it here on the yolofamilytravel.com or on the bitcoinfamily.com and then you go to the shop and you find bitcoin is the real king i i grew i gave away a lot of them in the in the, on king's day i threw them to the public they really enjoyed it guys now even more cool news fidelity investment allows investors to add bitcoin to their retirement savings uh, this is one of the biggest no i think the biggest investment fund worldwide that is now accepting um, people to add Bitcoin to the retirement savings. This is very positive news. Also very positive news is that the Central African Republic has adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender. So El Salvador, Central Africa, when Honduras, when Venezuela, when other countries. Eh? Let's see. Soon maybe. Mexico. We know them. Um, on King's Day, it was an amazing day, guys. You can see this. Uh, the thing that I want to share with you, look, I was there with my daughters, my two oldest one, and uh, this is the DJ, Funk D, Waldo. Uh, they invited us. We had a VP pass on us, VIP pass. Wow, cool, beautiful views. And of course, we also went backstage. Madeleine Voss was there, of course, as well. So we had a lot of Bitcoin fun. Um, the thing what I want to share with you is, while I was having all that fun with my kids, enjoying life, this one over here, look, the King's Day is on 27th, of course, eh, of April, no, for the ones that don't know that. This one over here, uh, my bot was making money. He was making Bitcoins, not money. Bitcoins, very important. It's uh, opening and closing trades automatically every day. It makes an average to 3 to 4% a month. Look, you can see that uh, there, it bought over here. It has a lot of buy orders extra for if we dip. And then it will sell again with profits. And yes, always with profits. Because if we look at it, BTC USD search. Now, let's see. 27th of April, that is this day over here. It made profit. And it made another time profit. And it made another time profit. And even midnight, it made another time profit on a 28. Uh, so yes, the bot is string 24 seven and making profits. I think in the last week, uh, this would be about 0, 0.0, let's say one Bitcoin. So I think four or $500 profit in the last week. This one is uh, playing with around maximum two Bitcoins. And if you want to have access, to this one, uh, probably you didn't see anything because my face was wrong, but you can see now, uh, 27th, that are, of course, these days here, these three days, while I was on King's Day, it was making profit, but the last week, about $500. And if you want to have access to this one, then you go to products on the bitcoinfamily.com and you see the Bitcoin Family Pro Bot. You just read everything very carefully and more information you can download with PDFs and then you fill the form and we will give you access. Now, have we had, do we have anything else? Yes, we have one more chart and that is, bam, this one. Um, really cool chart. Why? Because it is showing you the liquid supply and the liquid supply of Bitcoin and what the beep is happening with that. Now, it's very obvious what is happening. The illiquid supply is increasing. That means that people that have uh, their Bitcoins, Bitcoins illiquid, uh, that amount is increasing. So more and more Bitcoins are not on the exchanges, but of the exchanges, uh, which is really, really positive because illiquid supply is at the, at the moment bigger than the supply growth so there is more bitcoins leaving the exchanges than there is being created every day and that in my opinion is a really cool movement which means every bitcoin that is being minted or created is being taken off um, the exchanges and into hardware uh, storage or cold storage which means that the more and more people are huddle hauling huddling which means that the huddle model is predicting that you know the bottom of that illiquid supply is becoming higher and higher and higher which means that the market cap is becoming higher and higher which also means probably that the price will go higher and higher and higher as no people are selling their bitcoins really cool information on these charts pause it uh, analyze it yourself i found it on twitter so check um twitter to find more information um, about this uh, this was one i think the rational route as you can see on the top right uh, and uh, you need to look of course at these dark, dark colors and the dots 
and that you can see over here that the illiquid supply is growing faster than the supply now um, that was everything for today hope you really enjoyed it bam short video as promised i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know what you think about the charts about the new uh, bitcoin is the real king t-shirt and everything else thanks for watching and see you yeah see you tomorrow again oh yeah tomorrow is saturday i will do a dutch live on saturday and an english one on sunday because we have a lot to talk about okay bye bye bam <laughs>